Welcome Virgo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need assistance with right now. Using the Dragon Oracle deck, the Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Virgo, let's have a little look-see for you. Okay, so one card for Virgo please. One card for Virgo from the Dragon Oracle deck. Hmm. Getting the right card here for you, Virgo. Virgo. That's two cards. We just want one. One card for Virgo. There it is. And there it is. Okay. Royal Blue and Gold Dragon. This is your card strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom it says awaken your own majesty oh wow awaken sorry awaken to your own majesty wear your cloak of power with pride wow that's pretty that's powerful i'm going to get this ready we're going to read it at the end but I want to get it ready so that I'm not Royal Blue and Oak Dragon. Page 70. Page 70 and 71. Okay. Virgo, that is ready to go. Righty. But let's have a look into this. Okay. Royal Blue and Gold Dragon. Tell me more about this for Virgo, please. Honestly, I feel this. Um, uh, what is the word? I feel like there's this honour. Like a real sense of power. Massive power here. Okay, three cards for Virgo for Royal Blue and Gold Dragon, please. Three cards for Virgo. I just wonder here, Virgo, if you actually feel it. Do you feel that way about yourself? There we go. One, two... One more card. Yep, there it is. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Let's have a look. So we've got hope and happiness. We have maintain your childlike spirit. And we have love matters. Okay, so hope and happiness here. Let's have a look. Hmm. feel like I just I just don't actually know if some of you understand how powerful you are oh that might not be quite right maybe you understand how powerful you are but it's like when you are given um, recognition for that power you shy away from it shy away from it like you stand in it to a certain degree but you don't want it to be seen by others <laughs> just about lost the whole <laughs> rest of the cards there I'll just pick these up okay so just get these in order some of them are upside down so I'm not entirely sure what they all are here but with this hope and happiness right um there's this awareness this awareness of um, the awareness of you keeping yourself small or maybe not so much small because I feel like you step into the greatness of who you are but more so hiding yourself away to a degree. 
it's kind of like you, for some of you, there's this, this acknowledgement or you see who you truly are, but it's you keep that for yourself. You don't let anyone else see that. Um, and I feel as though here, Virgo, this is about you stepping into the truth of who you are. Not just stepping, I don't mean stepping into it <clears throat> because you're aware of it, I feel. Some of you are aware of this. Some of you may not be. Or you may have a feeling it's there, but it's like, nah, that can't be me. That would be everyone else, but not me. But it's like um, bringing this forth, not even to the rest of the world. It's actually just um, allowing it to embody you and wearing that as, <clears throat> you know how, sorry, my throat is suddenly going funny. And maybe this is because your truth, right, is being kind of stifled in a sense. But you know how people put on a coat of armor? I feel like your coat is a coat of consciousness. And in order for you to wear that, to step out in that, You need to, to embrace the hope and happiness that is existent in your life, in your future, but bring it into the now so that you are living that because there's this vision of what you want and it may always be seen as in the future, in the future, in the future, but it actually needs to be brought into the present at least the feeling of what that vision is needs to be brought into the, the present. Yes. <clears throat> okay. We have the lovers and completion here. These are really, really powerful cards too. The lovers and completion. There's a... Um, Potentially a relationship here, Virgo, that needs to be closed off completely and utterly. It could even be a relationship with yourself of the past, but there could be someone in your life who is... It's like still having them in your present, even though the relationship has finished. It's kind of like, Virgo, the relationship has finished, but you haven't finished with it. Or they haven't finished with you. Could be that they're still connected with you. You could be still living in their energy. Yeah. I think there's this awareness of it, this, there needs to be an awareness and a consciousness of this, but it needs to be completed and completely closed off. It's, do you know what it reminds me of? It's like having um, a ex-partner, an ex-husband or an ex-wife as a friend and believing that that is just purely friendship. It doesn't happen like that that is not the case there is always at least one person who is holding on to the hope that you will be together so if this is you Virgo if you are hoping that um, you will be with that person in the future then that needs to be closed off if the other person is if you know that someone else has feelings for you still and you continue to remain in that then it's not getting closed off. Something needs to be completed here in regards to a past relationship so that you can move forward to the hope and happiness that you dream of. Hmm. 
go beyond the illusion. There's, some, there's just something you're not seeing here, Virgo. There is something you're not seeing. There's a transformation that needs to be that needs to take place. I have a feeling for some of you Virgos that the, you believe the transformation is not with you, but in fact it actually is with you. Because in order for anything to um, come to us, if it is not with us, we can't always blame the external. We can't say it's because of this out here and this out here and this out here. Because if we held that truly and utterly in our vibration, it would be here with us. So it's important for you to look at how you are holding that back from coming to you. What is it within you that scares you, that keeps it away, that, that causes you to um, make excuses for it not coming into you? Okay, and then we have celebration here. So this could, yeah, once you've done that, yes, there's going to be cause for celebration. There's going to be cause for celebration, but I feel like, uh, honestly, from what I'm seeing here with the cards, this is absolutely massive here. Absolutely massive. And with the celebration comes, you know, maintain this childlike spirit, right? Virgo, this is this inner child, right? Letting it out to play, making sure that you're nurturing this inner child. Because if there is any fear within you about anything, if there's any resistance, resistance if there's anything holding you back, it is generally because of the fear that the inner child holds on to. So you need to let this inner child out to play. You need to do this on a daily basis. I always say it and I can't say it enough. Yeah, so that you can close out what needs to be closed out. Tell me more about maintaining childlike spirit or Virgo, please. Three more cards. Thank you. Okay, so the first two cards here are patience and healing. Yes, let the healing take place. Be patient because the, the patience allows the, the healing to play, take place, but it also allows this inner child to grow. It allows the inner child to mature and um and be set free be set free right um you know it's interesting because as as that's coming out i'm also seeing an adult who needs to let this childlike spirit come out right in order to um maintain the joy the hope the happiness in your life because there's not enough fun going on for some of you so this could be something that you really need to look at, okay? Um, yeah, I want to say that for some of you, there's this focus on all the vibrations around you and other people's energies, but where the focus needs to be is of your own. Because what you may see as um, negative energy is... Um, you see it because you recognize it, because it is within yourself. Okay, so just be aware of that. Okay, Virgo. So let's have a look. Oh, silence. Look at this beautiful. Going into the silence, calming the waters, calming the emotions within. Okay, this is going to help you dissolve the exhaustion that you feel of trying to get everything to work and nothing seems to be quite fitting in for you. Yeah, um, going out and having fun, and I don't mean getting rotten drunk or anything like that, but just doing things that bring you joy, um, that is going to help you to get the balance that is necessary, and I feel like this is saying balance, because these are two very contrasting energies here, and balance is needed, so this meeting in the middle here of those two, okay, and yeah, look at this beautiful 
harmony, experiencing harmony. This is what this will bring here to you, Virgo. It will allow you to have this experience of the harmony that you, you really are aiming for in your life and that you desire. Okay, we have... Hang on, I just want to say this before we go into the next card. With the hope and happiness, and even with love matters, what I want to say here is this needs to be found first and foremost within you. We can't get this from outside of us. We need to experience it in order to bring it in. Because when we are um, emitting that vibration, we bring in more of that, right? So in that regard... We need to make sure that this is something that we are keeping up and maintaining the upkeep of it in our daily life. So every time you feel a shift in that energy for yourself, that's not a bad thing. That's a great thing because it's showing you what triggers are there, what needs to be worked on, what healing needs to be done. It shows you how you need to be patient with yourself in order to be patient with others. Okay, so in this regard, this is something that is incredibly important. Love matters. I want to say about this, coming back to the lovers and the completion here, um, there could be, for some of you, a relationship that is triggering you or has highlighted some things for you uh, that you are not comfortable with. And these are things that you need to work through, regardless of as if someone else has their own work to do. You need to be looking at you rather than the external. Always look at the internal here. OK, always. It's not only one person. It, we all mirror one another. We are a reflection here. You are seeing yourself and they are seeing themselves. So make sure you're doing the work on what you see for yourself rather than projecting onto them to say, you need to do this so that I feel better over here. So then I know that I can go forth. No, you need to do what you need to do, okay? Okay. It's never anyone else's responsibility to do the work that we believe they need to do to make us feel more comfortable. Because it's actually about us more than it is about them. And that's not to say that they don't have their own work to do. But we can't ever expect anyone else to do the work for our own comfort and ease. Because if we are feeling discomfort and dis-ease, then in that regard, we have work to do. Otherwise, it wouldn't be highlighted to us. Okay, love matters. This is like a, this is a message from a pigeon, I feel. You know how the pigeons carry love notes or messages? Yeah, see, this here, this is saying to me that the focus is, um, there's, the. Hang on, I haven't got it, I haven't got it, and I don't want to, I don't want to ramble about something that hasn't quite clicked, but there's something not, there's something out of place, there's just something out of place right now, and maybe it's this completion of this old relationship that needs to happen for you, Virgo, not the other person, maybe the other person has to complete a relationship as well, who knows, but what matters here is you, and what you need to complete. If you feel like there's someone in your life that needs to, to, to complete something in order to cut something out of their life, then you need to look at what you need to complete in order to cut something out of your life so that you can proceed forward. Okay? So love matters. Tell me more about this. For Virgo, please, love matters. It's on the floor. I was hoping that wouldn't sit way down there okay two more cards for love matters okay we've got three i'll pick these up 
Okay, so we have, first of all, the sorrow and the miser. Sorrow and miser, sorry. It's just sitting this way. Holding, holding things inside, holding the sorrow inside, not wanting anyone to see it. Okay, maybe having pushed it down so far that even you can't see it. This could be a past relationship. For some of you, that still needs to come up. Potentially forgiveness to yourself for something that you have done here, Virgo. Maybe. Forgiveness to another person. And I don't mean that in a way that that condones what they have done. I don't often say that, but it is coming out. Forgiveness to another person. Or at least the situation. Forgiveness to me is acceptance, that you can't change what has happened. So it's about accepting it, right? Accepting it so that you can share what it is that you have to share so you can let your heart open up, okay? To let it blossom. To share the fruits of your labour. To stand in the energy of knowing that you are worth so much more. Okay, yeah, and then we have, you know, because this is a step-by-step -step process to get to what you want, to make your dreams come true, so that you can start to reap the rewards for all your hard work, okay? And there's just one more thing that needs to be done here, Virgo, in order for that to happen. And it's right there, it's right there for the taking. But it's almost like the one thing, because you've got the piece of the puzzle here, it's it's as though there's this um, sense of, oh, well, it's okay because I've got the piece of the puzzle, so there's nothing more I need to do. But in fact, there is more that you need to do in order for it to fit. And it's only a small bit, but it's still something that needs to be done, okay? Wow. And then we have, wow. We have the source and the creator here. And this, these are the last two cards. And this is talking about love matters, right? This is what matters here. This connection with source, the connection with the creator, understanding that you are the creator of your own world, of what it is that you want to manifest. You are the creator of that. When you connect in with source, when you connect in with the truth, when you see things for how they really are, rather than trying to hold things down and not see them for how they really are and just try and sort out the mess anyway and hope that it's not visible, right? Everything works. And what truly matters, what truly matters here, Virgo, is hope and happiness. This is what you want to focus on to bring into your life. Because ultimately this is what you want because love does matter it is what we need to survive we can't close everyone out of our lives and think oh well it doesn't matter I can have this hope and happiness for myself but when there's no one to share it with what's the point what's the point in that right so complete complete the puzzle and close out the old in order for love to come in. Okay. So, and this it could very well be love for yourself. Okay, so royal blue and gold dragon here. Okay, Virgo. Strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Royal blue and gold are the colours of majesty, dignity and illuminated achievement. Royal blue and gold dragons carry these qualities and prompt us to stand in our magnificence and true power. These fifth dimensional dragons come to us when they see the royal blue and gold in our aura, indicating that we hold wisdom with power in perfect balance 
which has been earned from our connections with the golden era of Atlantis. We have been, oh sorry, we may have been incarnate or in spirit at that time, but we are all living, but we are living or serving on a higher path. The dragons will swirl around us, reminding us who we truly are and breathing light into our energy fields to reawaken our ancient gifts and talents so that we can utilise them once more in service. They will re-energise our cloak of power and wisdom so that we can wear it with pride. The guidance of this card is a royal blue and golden dragon is lighting up the gifts and talents you carry in your aura. It is breathing courage, support and dignity into you so that you can wear your cloak of power with wisdom and pride. Most important of all, it is awakening you to who you truly are. It is enabling you to radiate your special light. This dragon is always with you. It holds your sword of truth, so Archangel Michael can enable you to speak and act with truth and honour at all times. It roars at those who try to diminish you and befriends those who empower you. You have all the support you need to teach divine majesty by example. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I love that for you, Virgo. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.